In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the object level setting in general arrangement drawing. So, object level setting is the setting in Tecla structure that enable us to set up our uh, drawing representation in a different display. Let's say, for example, in this uh, uh, model, I have slab, I have the uh, a wall, and then I have the beam. So. I want to automate the representation of this uh, different object in our general arrangement drawing using the object level setting. So let's open the uh, general arrangement drawing. By default, you will see that the uh, uh, presentation of the slab, beam, and wall are in the same way in this general arrangement drawing. So enable for us to set it up. So first, we need to open our uh, view properties and then in our view properties we need to create the filter first so by default if you notice here there's no filter uh, uh, set up here so all we have to do is to add row and then um, we can filter this one by name by class or uh, by marking but uh, in this case uh, my slab is named as slab, but my wall is in a different name or different marking, and my uh, beam is also in a different uh, uh, name and marking. So all I have to do is, if you will, if you notice in our model, go back, going back to the model. So our wall is color number one or class number one, and our beam is class number six. So I'm going to use the class to filter the wall and the beam. So again, going back to our uh, view properties here. So in our uh, filter, I have to create the filter now. So if the part name, let's start with the slab. So select from drawing and then select the slab. So you can see here if the part name is equal to slab, then I will type here slab filter. So once you type in slab filter, click save but importantly don't modify or don't apply okay we just uh, need to create the filter setting there uh, the next one is uh, for the wall so if I click here select from drawing and then select the uh, the wall if you notice here the wall is a different name so as I mentioned earlier in our model the wall is class number one so in that case I will just choose the class and then the value here select from drawing and then pick the wall and then you can see here the wall is class number one so i will just simply type here wall filter and then save again just want to remind you don't modify or don't apply then uh, we need to go back to the uh, beam so the beam will be uh, class number six if i may so click so here the beam is class number six and then filter this one as beam filter see now i have created uh, three filter so if you notice in our uh, attributes i have beam filter slab filter and wall filter so after you do the this filtering you need to go back to the standard okay and uh, there you go. So the next thing is um, uh, to identify what presentation we want to show in wall, slab, or beam. Okay. So first, I need to go to my part. And then in this case, I'm going to uh, uh, represent my uh, slab. Okay. Accordingly. So let's say... I'm going to choose the appearance. So the appearance of my slab is yellow. And then I have the uh, uh, this firm line. Okay. And fill. I don't need to put any fill or hatch in my slab. And then I'm going to save this one as slab underscore part. And then save. And again, don't modify just simply save that one so it will be saved in our attribute slab part okay so for the slab is the normal one i want to 
uh, color that one as yellow, and then the presentation is outline and and uh, the the standard one or the default. Now let's move on to the wall. So for the wall, for this wall, I want to uh, change the appearance instead of yellow. I would change this one to red and still firm line, and then in the fill, I will use a uh, vertical and then change this one to costume let's say 0.1 and then this one will be 45 degrees and then save this one as a wall part save okay and next is our beam again don't modify so for our beam the appearance the appearance will be magenta and then this time the type will be hidden and then there's no fill so I need to change this one to none and then change this one to beam part and then save okay now let's check again the uh, the wall I think I need to change the uh, the hatch in the same color so the color of line is uh, red and then the color of this hatch must be red and then save okay that one is under the uh, the part so it means it will represent our uh, uh, our beam wall and slab according to the setting that we have created here now if you want to add also the uh, the part marking then it can be done as well. Let's say, for example, uh, this I, I will do this one only for the uh, uh, for the wall. So for the wall here, I have the part mark. So I will just choose simply add name on the part mark. Okay. So in general, I can use this uh, this one, and then with the arrow. So the content, this one is only name. So let's say I'm going to put two, then change this one to red as well. Okay, and then I'm going to save this one as a wall part mark, and then save, and then don't modify. So uh, as you can see here, uh, first. We, uh, we create the filter and then we go to the properties of the part and then change the setting there go to the properties of the part mark and change the setting there for the wall okay but for the part we change the setting for the wall slab and beams okay so now it's time for us to to uh, go to our object level setting so for our object level setting again let's uh open the uh, view properties of this uh, of this plan okay and then we go to the view properties here okay so look if you notice here this is the uh, presentation at the moment so everything is uh, is a firm line or if you go to the color by pressing the B we will change the uh, the black and white to color okay so here we need to go to this edit settings right so under the edit settings so you can now add the uh, the rules by simply adding the row okay so one two three and then four i have four settings okay first is beam filter then this one is the part and then here i the settings that i'm going to use is a beam part so the second one is slab and then part and then i will use the slab part then the third one is wall filter and then the drawing uh, type will be uh, under the part and then the setting to be used is wall part and then lastly for the marking i'm going to choose the wall filter again so i have two wall filter one is the drawing type is uh, part and then the other one is part mark Okay, so as you notice here, we have a lots of uh, object type that we can change. 
but at the moment I have the part and then the part mark and then here wall part mark okay then save this one as object level setting LT RLS okay and then apply and okay so you will notice here once you click yes then you're going to apply the object level setting so just simply click modify and there you go so as you can see here the uh, the beam is uh, on the hidden line the wall is red with the hatch and then our uh, slab is yellow and then you can see here only the wall will have the uh, annotation here okay then if I change this one to black and white as you can see here that uh, the firm line is the slab and then as you can see here the uh, the beam is hidden line and then you still have the uh, the wall with the hatch okay so this is how you set up the object level setting in Tecla structure thank you